Hello again, YouTubers! Automat SpongeBob 101 back here again on the SpongeBob channel with our SpongeBob Comics issue number 37 review video and overview video, which is technically part of the review, so yeah, you get the idea. And today's issue is titled Under. Water, Dreams, and Nightmares. So we're going to take this thing out and uh, start talking about stuff related to this video. So, um, I'm actually making this on October 25th. Uh, but I actually got this on the, the week it actually came out. Um, and I believe uh, got, that was... Uh, wait, that was eight days ago. Was it? Yeah, it was eight days ago. So that was October something. Uh, I can't remember the date. But yeah, it was on the week that I that this issue came out. And um, yeah, one uh, thing that's really unique about this issue is that, you know, you have this uh, very unusual uh, cover here. And, we, and um, of course the cover, the title is uh, different from the usual. So I guess they're moving into some uh, more creative kind of uh, designs now. So anyways, um, again published by United Plankton Pictures. And um, yeah, we have that really cool, um, but a creepy kind of... I mean, like, look at that. That's supposed to be a Squidward moon with a Krabby Patty as an eye. Wow. And uh, yeah, SpongeBob's bit can crawl. Okay. So, settle in for... For Seaside Snoozin' and Slumberland Stories in Spongebob Comics number 37 featuring the dreams and nightmares of Spongebob Squarepants and his aquatic friends. So, I'm just gonna, pop, I'm just gonna put this camera down while I turn on the fan because it's really warm. Okay, so, anyways, let's get right into this. Patrick and the Pants by David Lehman and, uh, Jacob Chat, Jacob Chabot. But technically, the story is like, yeah, from David Lehman. So, anyways, Patrick here is seen uh, greeting SpongeBob and Pat, uh, Squidward, off, uh, sending SpongeBob and Squidward off to war, whatever you want to call it. All right. So yeah, you get the idea. And um, so he's not going to stand around, and then he's going to. Drag a diving board here. Oh, yeah, and this is printed in Quebec, uh, BC, Quebec, Canada, uh, September 22nd. So he's pulling that diving board and then he hammers it into the ground and then he's about to dive onto his bed and he falls asleep. Wow, right? Wow, it's early in the morning and you want to go back to sleep. Okay, so when he wakes up, he realizes his pants is gone. And, uh, yeah, his pants is alive and running away from him. So, Spongebob, you're helping me chase my pants? Not exactly. I'm chasing my pants. And sorry about the glare. I've, I've noticed that, uh, you know, the recent videos that I made in the day has a lot of, uh, glare because of the sunlight pouring through the window. But, um, yeah, I don't really think that can be how I try and close the window a little bit with the room light on but the room light still gives a little bit of glare so if it affects the video I mean in, in, the, in the final like when uh, when this video goes live I apologize for that but oh well so just focus over there and yeah it's running away with our pants I can't believe it that your shirt ran away no, then my shirt hangs out with your pants. So they're headed towards Mr. Krabs' house. Where he'll help us catch up. He'll help us catch him. And that is definitely not Mr. Krabs' house. That is Mr. Krabs' mother's house. Uh, but okay. Mr. Krabs, help us catch our... Pants? So Mr. Krabs... Uh... Clothes have now joined the runaway clothes. So a mutiny, eh? Come on, you're getting away. But which direction should we go? Uh, if you're a pair of pants, where would you go to? Where would you go? Um, to get ice cream? This is absurd. But it's our only chance. What? Why does that? What does that even mean? So they actually go to the Goofy Goobers, which is the first cameo 
or first appearance of the ice cream parlor since the SpongeBob movie, um, as far as I can remember. So there they are, and all right, this time we've got to be super sneaky and sneak up on them like sneaky sneakers. So puns, huh? Okay. Um, and yeah, so much for sneaky, right? They slam the door open and they, yeah, and uh, they wall up their clothes and they put on their own clothes, so. And they do that again and they get back their outfits. However, their pants are alive. Pants, no, don't eat me. Oh, it was just a dream. And there's my pants being normal. What a relief. And. He wakes up in the crusty crab. What are you doing in me restaurant if in your underpants? G night or good night. Technically, you probably wouldn't be watching this in, at night. I mean, it's not like it's impossible to watch this at night, but okay. I'm recording this in the day, so technically, it can't really be a good night for me because it's not even night yet. But okay, so the next uh, story here is known as Dreamboat, titled Dreamboat. So, what's this is the best present ever? It's a dream boat. Uh, you fall asleep in this boat and you'll dream that you're driving. Okay. I think I'll just uh, go here. And yeah, so that weird art style. It's kind of weird, but oh well. So he drives away. I'm dreaming that I'm really driving, but he's really driving away. So he crashes out of Sandy Street Dome. And it feels so real. So he drives through a land of fr uh, fast food. And in reality, he's actually uh, driving through uh, obstructing the roads. I hate that guy. Okay. So down there here, I've always wanted Gary to be giant size. So actually, it's really watch where you're going. It's a, what's it called? A crane? Or, yeah, that's a wrecking ball, all right, but, yeah, you know, the machine thingy. Alright, so officers in pursuit, stop the boat. Can I office, offer you a new suit or a new coat? Squidward, I always hope you offer me clothing items. And, go Spongebob, I love your airplane cheese filling. Is it Spongebob? It's not safe. Think of the children. Well, he's not hard to find. Hey, I didn't know drink cups could fly. What a weird dream. Oh no, Spongebob sleepy has hit us straight for the Krusty Krab. Spongebob, don't destroy me meal ticket. Take me instead, take me. So here goes, Sandy's gonna lasso um, the dreamboat. Just like roping doggy back in Texas. Moo. So he gets the wrong one, so hmm, better try again. And I've got it. Where's my fry cook off to? And yeah, he flies out of the dreamboat. I didn't think this dream could get any better, but now I'm flying. <laughs> wow, the end. Okay, that's really crazy. Danny Michiali. And art by Ulysses Farinas. I don't know whether I pronounced that correctly, but oh well. They did a great job anyways. So, pinup of Diluvial Dreams. Nightmare Calling. Story, David Lehman art. David, Dave the Grand. So I, re I really like this this uh, particular type of art style in the SpongeBob comics. Um, so yeah, re um, to have this as like somewhat of a poster, it's pretty cool. So uh, no one will answer. I gotta tell someone about my nightmare. So we go uh, clockwise here, just starting from the, the top left. So yeah, Sco is dreaming as well. everyone's dreaming basically, and. Uh, Dang, ding dang it, I finally invented a talking robot and all you can say is ring ring. Hear ye, hear ye, the citizens of the Bikini Bottom have chosen their favorite restaurant, the Chum Bucket. What? Okay. Um, and um, yeah, he's ringing the, the, the bell thingy. Ha uh ha -huh, ha, uh -huh. ring that bell, Plankton, so it plank smashes Plankton up to the bell, literally. That was Plankton's dream. What horrible monster would come at this time of the night? Patrick, that he's not dreaming. Uh, the mermaid signal to the invisible boat mobile. That's just a phone ringing, you old coot. See, daddy? This is why I need you to buy me a shower proof phone. Everyone else has one. 
OK, ringing. That bell means the start of another fun day teaching me how to drive. Oh man. And Mrs. look at Mrs. Pop's expression. So yeah. And over here, again, a pinup of Neptunian Night Terrors. Okay, so now we have Floatsome and Jetsome Ocean Facts. Some Parasites of the Ocean by Maris Wicks. So a parasite, okay, you guys can just read this. Um, I think it's going to be quite lengthy if I were to read everything. So, yeah. I mean, I actually, um, I think that the uh, different issues, the various issues, have been improving a lot in terms of story-wise story as well as art-wise. Um, I think they're really uh, getting more and more creative, um, which is quite surprising, actually, because, you know, sometimes people be always believe that, you know, the most, the best types, of, the best of... Uh, a certain something always comes first and not at the end so yeah sponge funnies by kochalka and this is titled uh sleepy walking so he's sleepwalking and it's dangerous to wake a sleepwalker i learned that in comic book wow don't worry patrick i'm not sleepwalking you're not see i'm dreaming that i'm sleepwalking wow Wow, that, that's really wow. Okay. And Dream TV. Yay, my favorite TV show. Not the boring flower show. Please change your... Please dream you change the channel. Okay. Ha ha ha. Yay. So, Dreams of Becoming the Dreaming Catcher. Story by Derek Dr Dryman. And, uh, yeah. Gotcha. So, I, I find this... I mean, I don't know, maybe this is supposed to be like the centerpiece of the whole issue. I find this uh, particular story not that great compared to like the first one and uh, I don't know, I just don't like how the characters look and the whole storyline of this thing. Basically, um, I'm not going to spoil it, so yeah, I'm just going to run through this whole thing and you'll get the idea. So, yep, the blue jellyfish uh, flashback to uh, Jellyfish Hunters. Episode 39B, I think? Yeah, B. And, uh, yeah, you know, Spongebob was... Tr uh, had to capture all the jellyfish with Mr. Krabs, and then he came over with this blue jellyfish. And, by the way, this thing is called a dreamfish. So, I think it's a dreamfish, if I can remember. So, then he falls down a cliff... And ends up in uh, like a very unusual place. So a little spooky, okay. Well, at least I finally caught you. Oh yeah, you know, uh, if you haven't noticed, this year there wasn't actually a specific um, Halloween issue. Just like last year, if I'm not wrong. Oh, actually last year there was a specific Halloween issue. Uh, that was issue 25. Yeah, I, I still can remember. Uh, that uh, the video that I uh, uh, uploaded uh, during the, the in November last year, yeah. So that was a Halloween issue, and in 2012 there was also a Halloween uh, Halloween issue, and that was number 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 13, yeah, 13. Uh, which of of which I also have a video for that on the channel. You guys can check out all the past Spongebob is uh, comic issues and future ones as well through our playlist link, which we have in the description box below. So, yeah, you know, there's a really unusual twist. So now, wow, um, it's that alternate universe and uh, dimensional planes, okay. And, uh, yeah, so... So while well, he uses a reef blower, I have no, I did not notice that the first time I read this. He uses a reef blower to awaken the dreaming guy who's still snoring. Must try harder. And uh, okay, I didn't quite get it, but all right, it's working. Continue to awaken. Wait a second, what's happening, Bikini Bottom? Beep beep beep. Well, Mermaid Man clock, huh? What's happening to us? I must have fallen asleep. I was dreaming like the dream dreamer in my dream. 
so yeah and then okay so quite a unusual ending there but all right so little snail lost by bob flynn and yes by the way it is upside down so i mean like the whole th the text is uh, uh upside down not the camera so so gary there's a package for you something is something weird is going on here you know gary he doesn't even notice that he's walking upside like uh oh he's apparently in gary's dream no wonder Okay, so first you go here, so Gary, Gary, upside down there, so it goes through his uh, intestine, I think, <laughs> yeah, then jellyfish of really unusual, oh, sorry about that, alright, I actually did the fit, uh, camera, ran out of battery, alright, so anyways, this is where, where we left off, I don't know why, yep, okay. So now they're in space, he in, he's in space, and some, another weird place, and then some really cold place, and then, yeah. But why are you still mailing? Because he's inside Gary! Wow, okay. And then he blinks open, and he says, oh, Gary! So Gary wants uh, SpongeBob to feed him. Alright, so, and then SpongeBob Comics number 38, it's a comic book with everything. Comfy, cozy crisis, tea time, and 100 animatronic peanuts. Wow, you won't believe your eyes this November. United Planet Pictures. And at the end, there is one last piece of art here. Really cool, SpongeBob is dreaming of uh, some guy that's supposed to be Mickey Mouse, I guess, but with a, cra a hit, Krabby Patty as a hit. For, with a Krabby Patty for a hit. And we have a really cool Spongebob Patty, which is by far my favorite part of this entire issue. I don't know why, but I really like this Spongebob Patty. So yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. The last two videos have been all about Spongebob comics, and the next video will be a short new stuff video for October 2014. And on, uh, that will be a last video for October. And uh, that video will be going live in about three days from when this video goes live. Alright, so um, on November 1st, we'll be having our uh, November updates video. Uh, and uh, basically, the only reason why we're having an updates video is to tell you guys more about our uh, ha the happenings in November. And our big contest, as well as the uh, celebration, 4th uh, anniversary celebration highlights all right and also i'm going to spoil it for you guys right now um as mentioned i think i mentioned previously that we are going to have a really big uh giveaway or actually not really big but it's um quite a uh, quite a cool giveaway and uh, it's a, a contest that uh you know i i actually brainstormed for quite a while and you know i decided since this year is uh spongebob's 15th anniversary I uh, thought maybe, you know, uh, everyone could come together as a Spongebob community and, um, like, you know, submit entries, um, uh, like, different different kind of things, maybe stories, uh, fan art, you know, those kind of things, um, all uh, related to Spongebob, just to celebrate Spongebob's 15th anniversary. And, of course, there are going to be some awesome prizes. We also, we actually have uh, a th top three prizes, as usual, followed by... Uh, prizes for all the uh, people all the way to the 10th place so there's gonna be like 10 uh, uh, like prizes and all and uh, this contest will be spread over all our networks no, actually not all but um, the YouTube channel our Facebook page for the first time uh, Instagram uh, and Twitter as well as ultimate spongebob 101.com if you're uh, if you're interested in participating I hope you are um, because there are some uh, really cool prizes or um, rather unusual prizes or, or whatever you know the prizes to be won 
as well. And um, of course, all um, all in all, it's to celebrate SpongeBob's 15th anniversary alongside our fourth anniversary celebrations. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. Next video uh, is uh, new SpongeBob stuff. We'll see you guys then. See you guys next time. Bye.